That's a big freaking deer. Good morning, everybody. Um, I never really got a chance to recap what happened last night. Um, some crazy things went down and yeah, so basically we glassed up this big buck yesterday morning and we knew he was a big shooter, 190 plus. Um, we went in after him. It took us three hours to get to the top of where we thought he was. We got up there. We glassed him up 20 yards off of public onto the private bedded. So we snuck in on him, it's last light. Uh, we're on the very edge of where we could possibly shoot him and he's just barely out of reach from us. So I sat there and watched him and watched him, glassed him and just couldn't believe He's on this little tiny skinny piece of private surrounded by public just bedded in the worst possible spot. If he would have moved at all I could have killed him but it just didn't work out. He got up. We have footage of him. He stood up, looked at us, didn't know what we were. He was confused. He even stepped towards us a little bit. He just had no idea what we were and so then he kind of bounded off a little bit. He wasn't too spooked but that was freaking tough. It took us all day to get in there. Probably one of the most physically demanding stalks I've ever done. And then after that, it was two hours out in the dark, climbing down off, losing 3,000 feet in elevation through rocky, nasty basins. It was a rough night, but super amazing experience. I'm, if I don't kill a buck on this hunt, that was unreal just being close to that thing. Dang it. But anyways, we're back at it this morning. We're glassing, trying to see if we can turn him up from distance. Haven't seen him yet. We found another group of little bucks that he was just below yesterday. So no luck. We're hoping we didn't blow him out of the country, but I don't think we did. I don't think he knew what was going on or what we were or anything. So we're gonna work hard, grind these last three days out and see if we can make it happen on another big buck. What is it? It might be our buck. I can't tell. It kind of looks like a tree point, but it has big eye guards. It's hard horn. Shooter. Last up, our hard horn buck we've been seeing in here since we found that big buck a few days ago, two days ago. This buck and another 170 typical velvet buck has been in the same basin the whole time. Just turned up that hard horn buck from this morning. He moved a little bit over and bedded in a rock slide underneath some cliffs, and he just barely stood up and is moving around. So hopefully. The big boy is somewhere nearby and we just couldn't find him because he bedded um, before we got here before light. That could always be a possibility, but we're hoping he comes out tonight. We can find him and if he's close enough, hopefully go after him, but gotta find him first. Hopefully he's still here. It's the second to last morning of the hunt and we hiked back up in across from this basin where we found that big buck two days ago. And we've been glassing it the last two days with no luck. We found the same bucks that were kind of on the same ridge as him. The day we found him, we glassed him up every single day. And this morning we found that hard horn buck and the velvet buck and a handful of does in here. But no big buck, so we're going to glass for another minute. And then while it's still prime time, we're going to head back and 
see if we can turn up him in a different basin, see if we can get a better look at the back side of this basin, or check out and see if we can find some other bucks, but it's not looking like he's in this basin anymore, at least, at least, I mean, he could be, he could be bedded in here. That buck we just watched, the hardhorn buck, just barely bedded, and it's still fairly early, so he could definitely have bedded somewhere in here. We can't see him, but we haven't been able to turn him up, so we're going to have to just move on and try to find something that's huntable today because we're getting down to the wire here. We've only got today and tomorrow, and then that's it. The hunt's over, so we got to make something happen. So we're just up here, it's the last morning, glass in the same basin again, and we actually just found a new buck that we haven't seen yet. Pretty cool buck, really tall, just kind of different, kind of a cool character buck, but anyways, giant back forks, giant twos. still looking for our big buck, so stay tuned. So we'll see where it goes. I think it goes over into that clump of trees. It's been decided we're going after that big buck with the big backs and we've been glassing for him for the last few hours haven't been able to find him but we have six or seven hours left of daylight so we're just gonna go in make it happen today's the last day of the hunt so we have to get aggressive and wide on the back end. Kind of the plan here is we saw him feeding across a basin and that's when we left to go glass somewhere else for the morning but we think he bedded just out of sight from us in a little patch of trees. So we're going to sneak down our glassing point, hit the bottom, go up one of the chutes where is right across from his patch of trees and we're hoping to get a little bit of elevation so we can glass down on his trees and hopefully turn him up right there bedded and shoot him at 150 yards or so. We're hoping we're pretty close, so that's the plan. It's about noon. Thermals are blowing down the hill right now because it's kind of cold and windy, so wind is good for going up at him. And let's go do this. It's the last day, bottom of the ninth. Let's get it done.
He's the one coming out. <laughs> Reload, you hit him. That's bad. Oh, he's going down. Don't reload. You're good. So we were sneaking up the chute and we were gonna keep going another hundred yards and go over the edge and peek onto this side hill where we thought they were bedded. And freaking they pop out <coughs> like 50 yards in front of us. We see one stand up out of its bed in some little jack pines. And we recognize them as one in the group. And so I hurry, had a yard sale and threw everything I had off and got the gun set up. Did and you notice our other velvet buck was hard horn now? Really? Yeah. So he rubbed, All red. he rubbed just barely. Mm -hmm. So anyways, they sprung up and we knew it was the buck that was in his group. So I got set up on the bipod, got the gun down and and ready to go and then sure enough we see the big frame velvet buck come out from behind him with his big back forks and we can see him they, they aren't sure what we are so they're kind of just walking they're spooked for sure so they're starting to run and then we see their horns at the top of these pines starting to show and we see the tips of them and there's a small opening and i'm set up on it because i know they're going to pass through it skylar's like second buck coming through get ready he came through the opening skylar stopped him and i shot it was kind of wild. I didn't make a great shot on him, but it put him down and we got a quick follow-up shot. He rolled down the hill like 20 yards, probably shredded his velvet, but he's right up here. We're walking up on him right now. Heck of a last day buck though. I'm stoked to not be eating tag soup on this hunt. We've absolutely worked our butts off to get a buck here and things didn't work out early on, but dang, that was exciting. I'm shaking pretty hard, so let's go up and look at this thing. And it looks like it went out his back leg. That first shot. Went in. It went in. He was quartered away. Oh, he looked broadside to me. It but was it all, came out. It was all a flash. It came out right here, so really, not a bad shot. He was gonna die. It happened fast. How you feeling? <laughs> feeling the burn. We're getting close. 
that is a wrap for this hunt. Thank you guys so much for following along with the series. Um, if you haven't already, make sure to like this video, subscribe, and if you haven't watched the videos before this of this hunt, make sure to catch those. Stay watching for the next episodes and see you next time.